Well, g'day curd nerds. Welcome to day six of the cheese a day challenge. And today's cheese is a little bit different. It is South Cape cream cheese cracked pepper. So this cheese is uh, kind of manufactured. It looks a little bit like uh, processed cheese, a little bit. Anyway, I'll read out the um, the ingredients. It is 200 grams in weight, of course. Uh, ingredients: cream cheese, which can 98%, which consists of milk, cream, salt, vegetable gums, locust bean paste, guar gum, and cultures. Uh, it's got cracked pepper, 1.5%, and preservative, scorbic, uh, sorbic, ap sorry, sorbic acid. Um, it contains milk. <laughs> Funny about that sentence, cheese. May contain peanuts or tree nuts. Lovely. Um, it is, uh, let's see, total fat uh, is three, sorry, 31.5%. Uh, and it says that the average serving size should be 25 grams. Well, this is a 200 gram packet and it cost me, let's have a look, $4.30. So not very expensive in the realm of cheeses, pretty cheap per weight. So let's crack it open and have a look, shall we? So it's all wrapped in plastics, a little bit like a vacuum pack sort of thing. Two piece arrangement. <sighs> I don't want to mush it too much because it's cream cheese and very, well, I wouldn't say it's runny, it's just soft. So, all right, so get the top wrapper off. Get rid of that. And I'm hoping I can just do this. Beef Mr. Fancy Pants. Whoa, there we go. All right, very cool. So, there we go. Let's have a look at that in closer detail, shall we? So it's got a nice cracked pepper uh, coating all over. The cream cheese looks more creamy <laughs> of all things. Uh, but yeah, it's not quite an even coating like I would kind of expect, but uh, around the sides it looks all right. Let's uh, let's have a taste test. It looks good. Let's. I'm not going to pick it up because it's sticky. Hang on, let me pick the board up. Pepper, creaminess. I suppose it's cream cheese. Anyway, let's have a look. We've all made cream cheese. If you haven't, give it a go. Very easy. But you don't need to put all these gums and things in it like they have. All right. So sticky. Cuts okay. There's no um, air bubbles in the middle of the cheese or anything like that. Maybe not a biggest piece, Gav. Right. Right, very nice. So I've got a piece with the pepper on the rind all over on the biscuit. Let's try it. Smooth, creamy. All I can taste is the pepper, basically. Little, you can taste a little bit of the cheese flavour, just a tiny bit, but that pepper is so overpowering. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just overpowering. I suppose that's what you get for a pepper cream cheese, isn't it? Yeah, look, as far as I really expected more from the cream cheese, I really did. I expected it to have a little bit more of a sharpness, um, it, probably because the cream cheeses I make have a nice, nice, nice acidic flavour to them, quite nice. This one's bland as anything, it really is. There's no flavour to it except for the pepper. Um, you really can't taste any salt either. 
Um, so, I don't know, this is not one of my favourite cheeses. This is not. I'll try another little bit, just in case. Just in case I'm misrepresenting it. Let me spread the paste out a little bit on my cracker and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Nope, still can't taste the cheese. So it is basically a nondescript milk product coated in pepper, cracked pepper. And that's all you can taste. So, no, um, I don't think I'd ever buy this again. Uh, my personal taste, of course, if you like creamy milk products with pepper coated on them with no flavour, then go ahead. But, uh, yeah, I don't recommend the south cape cream cheese crack pepper only for the crack cr for the uh, the pepper rush if that's what you're into but no it doesn't do anything for me unfortunately anyway hey you win some you lose some um this is not one of those hidden gems that are in the supermarket shelves so uh yeah i'm not fussed with this cheese at all it's obviously for the uh the normal consumer palate, maybe, and not somebody who's had a, some decent cream cheese in their life and made it themselves. Anyway, well, I hope you're enjoying the cheese a day challenge as I am. Not so much that cheese, but all the rest have been fantastic. Uh, tomorrow's cheese is uh, Meredith Dairy Marinated Goat Cheese. I'm very excited about this one. Uh, probably because it's not, it wasn't cheap. It was uh, on the higher end of the uh, scale. It's uh, more than $10. But uh, it's a local uh, goat's dairy, uh, probably about 200 kilometres from here uh, on the west side. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that cheese. Now, don't forget the show is supported by uh, financial paying members who pay via pa Patreon and YouTube memberships. Really appreciate uh, that revenue and it keeps these videos flowing uh, the links for those two are in the description below well anyway thanks for watching curd nerds um, as i said meredith dairy uh, goat marinated goat's cheese tomorrow that'll be very exciting i'm really looking forward to that thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow for another cheese a day challenge